All right, heading to to Woodburn from Mount Angel with a dirty windshield. So it's gonna be. Oh man. It's gonna be a sh kind of a short trip. And that windshield is really dirty. Um, largely because of uh, issue with uh, the windshield wipers being a little beat up. They can't squeegee anymore. Everything's a blur. Alright. Hopefully the wind will knock it off at least then. Wind will knock off that moisture. Oh, I can't take a right. See, I would have taken a right if I didn't read that close enough. <clears throat> and not much went on yesterday. It's a boring day. <clears throat> Played a lot of Hearthstone and read stuff. Read Mark Twain's biography a little further. He's led, led an interesting life. Um, I'm at the point where he's he's uh, he's done all his the most most of his best work. It's the 1880s, 1890s, and he's uh, had a lot of failed investments and uh, living in Europe for eight years. Um, it's kind of sad. Uh, to, to really learn the full lives of people sometimes because I mean it, it, we're talking about his whole life so it's it's from his birth to his death I'm learning all about it it's kind of sad you learn about his birth and death and everybody close to him like he was kind of close to General Grant and uh, that he became president and all that. He's a Civil War uh, hero. I read about his uh, his ventures in the Mexican War. Am I going the right way? Okay, here's a sign. The sign's gonna tell me. It's gonna say I'm going the right way. Seven miles to Woodburn, forty to Portland. Okay. Yeah, General Grant's like lived a kind of a sad life. Uh, well, towards the end, uh, with his political career in shambles, he actually ran for a third term. I didn't know that was really possible. But uh, he, he died of throat cancer, and they talk about how he, he chewed on a peach and experienced an incredible amount of pain in his throat. And then for a few years after that, he suffered with pain in his throat and swelling in his throat. He'd wear like a scarf on his neck to, and his head too to try to keep himself warm. But he suffered a lot. Uh, but that was the time when he was writing his memoirs and he found the energy to write memoirs. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's, that's like, you know, you learn their full lives. Uh, with one one man's biography teaches you a lot about other people. I mean, they mentioned um, Van Cornelius Vanderbilt in a little bit with investment stuff in, in Mark Twain's biography. They also mentioned um, Carnegie, Andrew Carnegie. And I read both those guys' uh, biographies. And so it's, it's kind of interesting to see how uh, biographies intertwine with each other. Um, I, I'm very interested in General Grant's biography, uh, also Lincoln's, because um, that they're they're all intertwined in ways as well. Uh, you, you just you, you get an idea of what was going on um, at the time of uh, like mo uh, okay like uh, historic moments like the Civil War. Well, uh, General Grant, he, um, he fought it. Mark Twain, 
He ran away from it. He fought a little bit and then ran away to the west. Uh, Cornelius Vanderbilt. He he uh, donated some ships to to serve for for fighting. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, that other rich guy again, uh, Car Carnegie. Uh, you know he was kind of young for the war. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if he, I think he might have been like a telegraph operator during the war or something like that. He was a little bit younger than Mark Twain by about 10 years or so. So, I mean, we're, I've been, I've been reading and I'll say I've been reading quite a few biographies of, uh, famous guys of the, the late 1800s or so. Um, largely because they're free books. Well, okay, I did pay for Vanderbilt, um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I, I mainly read ones that I can get for free, and they're, they're very, it's very interesting, uh, to, to, to learn, like, like, just, how they respond to changes in technology, like um, Mark Twain wrote his books by hand, and uh, it was about the 1880s when the typewriter started becoming really popular, and he was learning of that and improved his uh, writing efficiency a little bit. He had to learn how to type, or he hired lady secretaries to type for him. Um, he, he also, Mark Twain, invent, invested in a, a machine that lost him a lot of money. That was like some kind of a typewriter thing. Um, he, he believed in it, but uh, it just wasn't, it wasn't working. The inventor wasn't able to really get it to work uh, as expected. But he, he, he lowered Mark Twain into investing all kinds of money uh, continuously to the point of ruin. Mark Twain lost a lot of money. He married into to a, a fairly large amount of money. Um, man, that is really dirty windshield. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it's history there. Uh, two miles to Woodburn. 35 to Portland. Jeez, I'm hitting this corner really tough. Alright. Union School Road. So I, yeah, I didn't really do much yesterday. I just, just uh, sat around. The heat is too much. I, I, uh, I played, um, yeah, more than Hearthstone by the afternoon. Well, all day in the library and then I sat around when we got kicked out at five, and and then uh, <clears throat> tried to just stay cool, and then um, I just started getting maybe seven or eight, probably seven thirty-ish. Played a little Hearthstone, got mad because I just I keep losing so much. Uh, it really it really gets me angry, like. I just want to, just want to throw things and make a temper. So I got so angry that I just, I quit the game and and grabbed my weighted bag and just went for a big long walk. And I experienced a lot of pain in my shoulder, which I loved. It's that muscle pain. It's not not joint pain, not rheumatism. Actual good workout pain. It really helped take the focus off my ankle. Well, it, my anger helped fuel uh, my, my need for that pain. I wanted to feel physical pain to complement the, the hurt, the anger I was feeling inside from losing so much. And I have to say, it's the anger that that game brings out is really effective. Like, what? Okay. Uh, just some sign that says no hunting or trespassing. Um, I, I, I have to wonder, can I, do 
do I generate the same amount of rage uh, playing, losing at that game as I did back when I used to work out, like listening to music? I listened to like uh, Marilyn Manson and feel a lot of like angst and like anger, rage uh, while listening and, and it really helped with the workouts. It really gave me the energy to push hard. But I'm like, wow, you know, this game, Hearthstone, when I get angry from losing so much, I, uh, I feel that, that same anger, like that energy. Okay, it looks like I'm in Woodburn now. Yeah, I just have to wonder, you know, what if I, if I ever got enough money to afford a gym and all that, I wonder if uh, I could just play a few games of, of Hearthstone and lose and... And then uh, just just have that anger that'll last me for a workout, just raging. It's it really seems similar to listening to music, and it's it'd be what was that? It was a pothole, of some nasty. I've walked down here with my camera. I've recorded this, so it's um it's familiar. Uh, but yeah, that anger is. It's nice to, to be able to relieve that anger with my weighted bag. It took me a while to, to figure out that I have enough weight with my magnets to, to use it as a, as a tool. I sewed that bag a few years ago. I love it. I, it's nice to have some sewing skills, but I want to work on my chopping skills. Um, I want to be able to start making some, some Indian clubs just on the fly with an with an axe, axe carving. I mean, people talk, there's talk about, and I really like to learn more about it, like, people talk about you can carve bowls with an axe, you can carve stakes if you needed to stake something into the ground. Um, people carve a lot of interesting things out of wood with an axe. You don't need any, any special tools, you just, um, you can carve with an axe. That that seems really cool to me, but I need the right axe. And and, and a lot of them are very uh, expensive. Um, so what the fuck? Um, not sure if there's any stop signs back there. <laughs> Wasn't very clear. Um, okay. I guess this is a pretty thorough way. All right, library's what? Library's on the left, and it should be open today. Said it was closed, but I, that was like a Monday or something. Um, gosh, I really don't want to be. It's a Saturday anyway. I don't want to be in the sun at all. So I'll just I'll pull up, pull up to here. It's, and I'll park here all day. Nobody said anything in the past.